up good people i hope you're well because i'm doing fantastic it's your girl i'm the biotechnologist and in today's episode i am reviewing a uh, von hot point twin tub washing machine yeah this machine i have had it for the last two years i even did like a small uh, clip about its performance and uh, the various features but i didn't go into detail on how it's supposed to be used so in this episode i'm going to take you all the way i'm going to show you how the machine is used and what are its advantages compared to others and also what makes it so unique so guys i hope you stick with me uh, and i hope that this video gets to encourage you because i believe ladies uh we should normalize luxury uh, we shouldn't uh, uh be content with suffering i wouldn't say <laughs> yeah you see um sometimes bending for too long can even cause you back pains but if you have a machine or something that can help you do some of this work then the better that doesn't mean that i can't bend and wash but i feel that with a machine it's so it's way easier especially if you're working you know you're coming from work in the evening or you're busy doing something else it gives you enough time to do other things as your things as your clothes are getting uh, washed so without much ado let me just give you a quick uh, outlook of how it looks like so this is the von hot point washing machine it is 7 kgs and it is a twin tub the reason they call it a twin tub is because it has these two tubs this is a washing tub this is where you do put all your clothes the ones you are washing so you put them in here you put the detergent in here and then it's going to wash from here and the other tub is this one it is a spinner this is where you put your clothes to rinse them out and also to dry them out. So as you can see, it has some holes on the walls because those holes are supposed to help with the draining of the water. So here it serves two, purpose, two purposes, that is both rinsing and also drying. So by the time you are getting the clothes out of this uh, spin tub, they are 90% dry. So you just need to air them outside for a few minutes and they are going to be good and sometimes you can even uh, take them out and put them on directly depending on how you have dried them then from the tabs we have also a few knobs uh, this first knob is the wash timer and it goes from zero minutes up to 15 minutes so the wash timer is dependent on the clothes that you're washing some of the clothes you may want to wash for long some you may want to just wash for a few minutes so you you just set it up depending on how you want it for example if you are cleaning um some very dirty clothes like overalls for the mechanics yeah baby clothes which are extremely dirty you can decide to give it 15 minutes or even double that that is you you put it you allow it to go for 15 minutes uh once it goes to zero then you turn it around uh, once one more time for it to have two rounds and that will be 30 minutes so it is it is dependent on the clothes that you're washing then we have the second knob that is the wash selector it has two options that is the gentle wash and the normal wash for the gentle wash uh it's when you're cleaning clothes like uh, the curtains which have the rings because you don't want too much abrasion on the walls of the washing machine so for that you'll go for the gentle but for the other clothes for the other clothes you just do normal it will be okay then we have also this knob this knob is for the water inlet uh, as you can see for me i have modified mine this is a normal pipe hose pipe uh, but when you're buying the washing machine it comes with its own uh, pipe only that the pipe is usually plastic and can easily um, get torn apart so like for mine ilikatika it got torn apart at this point so i had to devise uh, and use a hose pipe i go i just warmed it um, 
I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to put it but uh nilipitishia kwa moto so I just uh, made it hot on this part so that it can be able to fit um I burnt it sorry I burnt it on this part and then I fitted it so right now this hose pipe can't get out of there yeah so this is the hose pipe that you connect directly to the water supply the water supply is right here I have, I have collected already so with that with this knob if it's uh, on this side it means it's on the washer side for example um, right now because it's on the washer side when I open it up So there is what the water goes in onto the washer side. If I turn the knob on this other side, this is the spinner side, and I open the tap. So water will get into the spinning tub or the rinse, the rinsing tub. Then apart from that knob. We also have a that knob, which is the program. So the program has two options. It can be either wash or drain. So when you're washing your clothes, you always ensure that it is on the wash side. So you always ensure it's that way. But after you're done with the washing, you now put it on the drain so that water can drain through the hose pipe. And the last knob is called the spin timer. So with the spin timer, it goes from zero minutes to five minutes. So when you're rinsing your clothes, you may choose to rinse for two minutes. You may rinse, you may choose to rinse for four minutes or even five minutes. And then after you've rinsed, you may choose to also now dry them for five minutes because uh, the more you dry them, the more they come out when they are extremely dry. Uh, if you choose three minutes, the clothes might come out when they are a bit damp, so you would rather do the five minutes. One of the main advantages of using a, a top loader is the fact that water gets in from the top side and also your clothes you put in from the top side in the, into the washer. So it means that in case there is no water running in the house, you can just put in water into this washing tub using the buckets, the normal buckets, which is not... Uh, the same with the front loader because most of the time you find the front loader has that round window here so most of the time the clothes you just put them through there so it's hard for you to put in water using buckets but for this one should there be no water running it will still be functional and then also another advantage is that the twin tab is usually not so much expensive for example this mine i got it at uh, 17,000 Kenyan shillings that is an equivalent of about 17 US dollars yeah so it's quite affordable and it serves the purpose uh, for those maybe you say that the washing machine do not wash the clothes to perfection it depends on the wash time if you want if you feel that the clothes are not as clean as you'd want them to be you just do the washing twice or thrice using that cycle yeah, so that is one of the main advantages of having a top loader. Uh, another advantage is that it doesn't consume a lot of heat, uh, a lot of electricity, sorry, because you find that, uh, for example, when I do the five loads that I've done today, um, I'll consume about two units of the electricity. So it, it is not much consuming to the electricity. And finally, is the fact that it has stands on the lower side see those stands yeah so they are supposed to help it uh, get that firmness especially when you're spinning so that it doesn't move around and then also you don't need to just have it specifically in the bathroom it is portable you can move it to another area in the house and then when you're washing your clothes that's when you bring it to the washing area be it washing in the balcony or washing in the in the bathroom 
So then uh, it has its own cable. For example, mine I've connected di uh, directly to the multi cable there. Yeah, so because I don't have uh, any socket which is around the, the bathroom area. And then another part is this pipe is connected directly now to the to the tap to help the water go in and finally is a hose pipe which drains water so this one you always ensure that after you're done with the washing the drain the machine remains at drain for a few minutes to allow any extra water that is dripping to drain off so uh, let me now get busy, let me get into loading the clothes so that we can clean. Anytime I'm doing laundry, I first start by separating the white clothes from the colored clothes because you don't want the colored clothes pouring the color onto the white clothes. Uh, today, I separated them based on the level of dirtiness and also based on the colors. So you'll see the white clothes, I've put them on a separate corner. The dresses, I'm putting them on a different corner. The trousers separately, the jackets separately, and also the towels separately. So it means I'll be having about five loads to wash. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside. Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With the habits of the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff I ensure that the inlet pipe is well fitted and tightly fitted so that it doesn't pull out then I turn the knob to the other side, to the washing tub side, so that water can get into the washing tub area. Behind, we can start all over in our hometown. Free. It could be everything that we were I'm in just to see. In the washing tub, you fill out water to the level that you want. Then now you add the detergent. Uh, for me, I was using the washing detergent together with the Oxy. Uh, that is for stain removal because I was cleaning some white clothes first. Yeah, then after you've put all the detergents, you allow it to spin for a few minutes for the detergents to be able to combine before adding your clothes. One tip to ensure that your clothes come out perfectly clean from the washing machine, do not overload the washing tub. So if you, if you put clothes into the washing tub and you see the machine struggling to spin them, just know that you have overloaded it. So ensure that you do not overload so that that spinning can get off all the dirt that could be in your clothes. And now I see a silhouette in the dark It's like time has stood still For this load of white clothes, I did let it run for two cycles, each 15 minutes. So in total, I ran it for 30 minutes because the clothes were stained and I really wanted to get off those stains. So after that, I now shifted them into the spin tub where we are going to be rinsing for about uh, five minutes. Cause I just wanna be here in our home. Another advantage with this machine is that you can do both the washing and the drying simultaneously. As you can see on the spin tub, I have my clothes rinsing out and then also on my washing tub, I am adding another load of clothes.
in case there is no flowing water in your house the machine is still very efficient because you see on the washing tub you can just drain the water that you are using to clean then you add fresh water and you rinse them from that area then you bring now them to the spin tub for you to be able to dry them it's just like the saying you don't know what for the spin tub it's able to drain on its own remember it had those holes on the walls which are supposed to help drain the water from the clothes uh, so this is me now adding the fabric softener i usually add then i allow it to sit in for about two minutes to allow that scent to get into the clothes and after that i'll come back now to spin for about five minutes so that the clothes can be dried out you got till it's gone But now I know in my hometown Run that free, it could be After spinning for about 5 minutes, now the clothes are ready to go and hang on the clothing lines for them to air dry. It's not a must. But because those clothes, they get off when they are kind of damp, that's why you need to air dry them, especially with the direct sunlight. But if you are able to give it another spin of about five minutes, those clothes can be gotten off from that machine and you put them on directly because they, they will have dried like completely. So you repeat this set of steps for all the loads of clothes that you have to wash and also you need to know that the water in the washing tub usually gets dirty very fast so you need to keep on frequently changing maybe after two loads of washing. One of the main disadvantages with uh, um, a von hot point top loader is the fact that you have to keep changing this water after every two or three um, washes because the water gets dirty very fast. Uh, so in case the water gets dirty, you just drain the water and then you put in fresh water and you continue with the cleaning. Like for myself, I was doing about five rounds. So I changed the water like twice for me to be able to get here. So this is water that I was using to wash the mats in the house. That's why it looks so dirty. And I'm already done with the cleaning now. So the next step will be to drain. So I put it on drain. And once you put it on drain, that's the water getting out. Yeah, so you drain all the water. Uh, for the for the spin, this is how it looks like. You see, after finishing the cleaning, you still have some dirt. Yeah, so it means that it needs a, a little bit of cleaning before you can even store it. And when you look at the back part of it, I don't know if you guys can see, but also you also need to clean on the other side before you store it. So for the cleaning, I'm going to be using a baking soda together with vinegar and some water uh, to just uh, ease up the dirt that could have formed inside there. And also over time, it's, I don't know if there's, you can see there's dirt also from these two parts. These ones. So I'm also going to be cleaning them before... I store this washing machine so I'm just waiting for the water to drain also let me just show you something else uh, as you wash your clothes there's this lint remover and like mine you see how dirty it is after washing those uh, mats yeah so you also need to get this out and wash it out and also you can see the dirt that has accumulated there after the washing so these I'm also going to be washing with vinegar and baking soda 
so let's do the washing right away i've been thinking about the good times i've been sleeping through the long nights i've been shining in the sunlight i've been thinking how i'm all right there's a reason for my feelings there's a reason why i'm healing yeah i feel higher than the ceiling all because of you you and i so sweet so sweet talking till we asleep asleep every night i fall deep when you add vinegar to baking soda there's always the production of an effervescent that effervescent is what we are looking for because we want it to make the dirt lighter for you to be able to clean it out so you are supposed first to add the baking soda then you add the vinegar because if you do the other way around you start with the vinegar there will not be that production of the uh, effervescence that we are looking for It's always advisable to use warm water, but in my case, I didn't have the warm water, so I just went for the normal cold water. I should catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep the thoughts straight. With you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind. But why should I when you're all I really like? Yeah, I feel higher than a mountain. Because of you. The water in the washing tub has vinegar and baking soda and this is the water I'm now using to clean up the walls of the washing tub and also of the spin tub because already the dirt is, has gotten loose after the effervescence so it will now come off very easily. ensure that once you're done with your laundry you get to remove the lint remover and wash it because if you fail to do that in your next wash it's going to dirtify the clothes even more and also the area behind that lint remover always ensure that you've washed it maybe using a cloth and ensure that your finger gets into those tunnels also ensure that you give the draining pipe a little wash to avoid any clogging that could happen if the dirt inside dries out and always ensure that the bar the the knob is at drain so that in case there is any water which was left inside it's able to drip out I live in a very dusty area so to avoid the washing machine from getting dusty I usually clothe it in that cloth <laughs> the one you can see uh, i got it from china square and it serves the purpose because it's able to protect the machine from getting dust so guys up to this point i want to say a big thank you for the support that you have continuously given me and my youtube channel i hope if you have not subscribed and this is the type of content that you love 
please ensure that you subscribe share this video give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment tell me that you have also enjoyed this video until next time guys bye